day of customer oversharing. Today, I learned that Lisa lost her job. Um, she deals in precious metals and has been working with this company for a year. Uh, she had uh, some sort of altercation with the, the owner, I guess, or maybe the boss, I think the owner, and uh, last night, and then she just decided that she would just stop, like, okay, all right, I'm not going to argue with you, and so she said, okay, great, and then the next day, today, she showed up, and uh, she, the guy, the CFO, I don't know what that means, but the CFO was in, and he's like, um, I'm here to relieve you. And she said, what does that mean? And he said, uh, you're fired. So she's glad, actually, she claims to be glad, because her dream is to own a coffee shop, so she's like, I'm going to get on with my dream now. And so she was here at the coffee shop with Dr. Joy about owning a coffee shop. Um, I mentioned that I, I had owned a coffee shop historically, and... Uh, and that I would never do it again. <laughs> and that I lived in poverty and um, yeah, that it was just the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. Though quite complex and I never would do it again. So that was a good exchange. And then, um, and then uh, another customer came in, you know, I'll let rename And she was like, I just got back from the therapist, and now I'm going to see my lawyer. And if my lawyer believes me, then maybe I'll have a lawyer. And uh, I think yesterday the oversharing was about how something about the, the abusive relationship and the lawyer. Um, and, you know, filing and arguing. And honestly, these aren't really things that I care to know or need to know about anybody except for people I'm immediately involved with. So the next time you're getting coffee, maybe reconsider the, the life story or tip really well. <laughs>